You ain't about that, like, it could go down in this interview, bro, like. Hi, hello, I am back with another reaction video. Today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to rapper's most disturbing interviews. This one has been requested a lot, so thank you for the request. Also, if there's anything from this channel you'd like me to react to, then let me know as well. Um, but yes, rapper's most disturbing interviews. I feel like I've done a lot of disrespectful moments and stuff like that, but yeah disturbing interviews before we jump into this make sure you jump over to my instagram follow me over there so you kept in a loop so you know when i'm dropping new reaction videos and all of that good stuff so if you just want to be news and follow me on my socials then that's fine as well i want to say thank you for showing love because i've been getting a lot of love and also birthday messages as well so thank you for those i have seen them so thank you but anyways guys thank you for watching and i'm gonna jump straight into it one rapper almost smoked the interviewer for asking him oh. one question and another that was not me trumping or farting this is my chair just very squeaky okay she needs a little oil or something i don't know but she's just making up a lot of noise recently so just a little disclaimer okay <laughs> one rapper almost smoked the interviewer for asking him one question and another died after his interview for speaking on a situation that happened these are rappers most disturbing and disrespectful oh, six, interviews nine. of all time Where is we gotta start things off with the rapper known as baby los because los started to make a name for himself after he linked up with the island boys in 2020 and fans considered him as the fourth island boy los was even with the island boys when they got into a huge fight in hawaii but recently Hood rich kevin tried to get los to speak on a viral video where the island boys kissed each other and this is what pissed los off and made him flash out on the interviewer i gotta ask you bro like this is Everybody wants to know, did you see the Island Boys kiss? Bruh, stop mentioning them dudes for real, bruh. Like, no, I'm just saying, though, like, oh, did you bruh, see them no, do no, something together? Oh, no, no, fam. Fam, they weren't gay when I was around, fam. Like, bruh, stop doing that, bruh. Like, this interview ain't about that. Like, it could go down in this interview, bruh, like. Do you want to go down to this interview? Do you want to go down, yes or no? No. And thankfully, Los ain't popped the interviewer for asking that question. Because things could have gone horribly wrong. But he ain't the only person to up a gun on an interviewer. But first, let's move on Damn. to Easy Cash. Because he died not too long after talking about something disrespectful that he did during an interview. In late 2020, Chicago rapper FBG Cash took a picture in front of King Von's mural to disrespect Von and his people. Not long after taking the picture, he went on No Jumper to discuss it. He tells Adam 22 about the conversation that he had with Lil Durk before taking the picture. Uh, what kind of conversation were you having before he told you to go take this photo? Me, f him. Go, go over there and do that and see what happens to you. I'm like, I'm outside right now. You hit him up? Yeah. Yeah. And he, he was just yeah, like, hey, what's right. up? Why, why, why? Yeah. Chicago's so weird because the ops always be talking to each other and like going on live and tweeting at each other. That's what I say. They always be going on live, tweeting at each other. Like they just say it all on social media. It's just like a thing, isn't it? Chicago's so weird because the ops always be talking to each other and like going on live and tweeting at each other. Yeah. And and doing this interview might have made things even worse than it already was because Dirk later dropped the song where he said sneaking pics by Von Mural like Lil Bro won't come out and spin where he sent a threat to FBG Cash for taking that picture. Then three months after the song was released, FBG Cash ended up getting hit and lost his life while driving on the south side of Chicago. Well-known Chicago area rapper was killed in a drive-by shooting early this morning in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. 31 year old Tristan Hamilton was shot multiple times. According to the Sun Times, he raps under the name FBG Cash. A 29 year old woman with him was also shot, taken to the hospital in serious Condition. Now let's move on to another wow. FBG member known as Butter. Butter has had many crazy moments during his interviews. And recently, he went off on Oblock members for killing FBG Duck. He let Say Cheese know that Oblock told on himself after knocking Duck off. And it was pretty disturbing because during the same interview, fans say that Butter allegedly admitted to killing someone. He told on himself. And he did an interview on top of the Butter Cop. You stupid. What about. Hello. What about the picture that Take went? Take me to jail. Give me so, the cuffs. Yo, buddy. What I'll about the What about the picture that went viral with Muwap wearing the with the duck sneakers? That's clown. 
and with the same drinker you y'all use? Uh, get a feds day evidence. That's the same. Uh, homicide can't solve it, but the feds can, right? Damn. We talking uh, real business. I'm a real street. But this, nah, that wasn't the same. same. Oh, Shandy, That's in the document. Problem. Not long after speaking on No Block, FYBJ Main tells Butter to sit down and that he's saying too much because Butter says, picture him sitting on top of a car that he killed Odie on. Yeah, I'm Butter, Sean. Oh my goodness. I'm Butter, Sean. Now picture me sitting on top of the car that I just Shut killed up. on. I got J Main in this. Up, I got four them in this. They in this. They killed. Butter also discussed Odie's death in an interview with Vlad. Here's what he said. Man, O.D. got black. Right, well, Odie Perry got killed at one point. They're saying that she was the shit. That's the one. I mean, it's, it's footage. It's a video of Odie Perry getting killed. Yeah, we done. Yeah, yeah, you saw it. I ain't seen nothing, man. I just heard the story, bro. Okay. I don't be knowing nothing for real. You know what I'm saying? Not all the time. Okay, fair enough. Hey, brother, hold on. You just in their Oh, look where I came back 119 years. I don't speak on that I thought that was is that KI's brother? Um let me know in the comments because I'm sure I just literally watched a video about KI. Make sure you check it out. It should be out now, but I didn't know that she had a brother, like a twin brother. I'm get is that her brother? I think it is. <laughs> Oh, Rumors say that female assassin known as KI is yeah. responsible okay. for taking Odie Perry out. But recently, fans believe that Butter is the one who did it and is blaming his sister KI since she's already dead. Not long after Tuka lost his life at the bus stop on 63rd, the members from 63rd wanted to get revenge for Tuka since members from Oblock were dissing him. So not long after Tuka's death, a member from Oblock known as Odie Perry was walking around the neighborhood and decided to go to the store to get some Swisher Sweets. But not long after leaving the store on his bike, Odie ended up getting shot. So he fell from his bike onto the ground before getting up and trying to escape, but ended up getting hit 10 more times. A key witness at the scene told police that an African-American male was the one who shot Odie. But many also say it was K.I. since she was seen posting pictures with one of Odie Perry's guns after he died. Popular 63rd member Wooski also made a tweet saying, shout out to them twins that made Oblock and tagged K.I. and FBG Butter in the tweet. That's why recently fans believe that Butter is actually the one who took his life. But that ain't the only disturbing moment from one of FPG Butter's interviews. He recently broke down crying in an interview with No Jumper when talking about his sister KI, saying how he'd rather for her to be fighting for her life right now rather than be in the grave. I for her life, gang. It'll be dead. Every day I wish, like, why the f thing ain't come lock her up, gang? Like, why y'all ain't come lock this girl up, gang? Every day I'd be like, rather I'm to the grave because I be taking care of clawing them phones, so I like, I be, every day for I be, on the phone, my little brother, I'm on two the phone, I be told in the floor, and then I be like, well, I wish this was my little sister I was talking to for on the phone. On two great, I wish this was Kyra. I wish I was laughing with my sister, for. I wish I was sending my sister this money, yeah. I wish I was sending my sister these pictures of me at these interviews on these platforms. I wish I was showing Kyra this. On two the that shit hurt my soul every day, every day, every day, every day. On two the day. And a lot of people don't understand that, because... A lot of time, everybody think a lot of be facade. A lot of a lot of people don't even go through shit. Man. Because his sister K.I. lost her life on April 11, yeah. 2014. See, on that day, K.I. made a huge mistake and tweeted out her location for everyone mm -hmm. to see, including her ops. As she was walking down the block with two friends who were headed over to the studio to celebrate Boss Trail's birthday until a gunman hopped out of a car, waved bystanders to get out of the way, and began opening fire at K.I. and her friends. Her two friends were hit, and K.I. was hit nine times. After being shot, she stumbled to a nearby home where she'd lay on some steps and take her last breath. And speak Speaking of K.I.'s death, a man from Chicago known as Trish's News says he was on the scene when she lost her life. And he talks about how disturbing it was in an interview with Cam Capone News because he even claims that smoke was coming out of her neck during this incident. And did you hear the gunshots and everything going on? Oh, uh, yeah, they sound like they sound like something special. They was boom, boom, like it had like a like a Star Wars before it said wow. pow. Like it, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy, bro. It was crazy as hell, man, that day. And then the police trying to lock up Duck. They told Duck he responsible for it. They just left K.I. on the ground. 
They ain't trying to help her, uh, minister no aid. They ain't trying to do none of that. Me and Joe Jackson, me and Manny, uh, FBG, um, Young and them daddy, we about to go to jail because we like, nah, let him go. So I went over there by K.I. Smoke was coming out of her neck, man. It was all sad. Now, let's move on to BTB Savage because some say him doing this interview with DJ Vlad is the main cause of his death since he spoke on how he killed someone in self-defense in the interview in a cocky fashion. According to Savage, a local rapper had been trying to get a feature from him for a while. One night, the dude got in touch with Savage and finally agreed to do a feature. So later that night, the other rapper pulled up to his apartment with a car full of dudes and the rapper came into Savage's apartment with another dude named Omar Richardson. Savage said he felt weird since both of them were looking around the spot when they walked in. But then Omar upped the bankroll. So Savage thought it was all good. The dudes then came in with a box full of studio equipment so they could get to work. But then the other rapper said he was missing a few things. So Omar took him to go back and get it out of the car. Savage thought something was off. So we locked the door when the rapper went outside. And that's when everything went left. Omar started asking Savage about his jewelry, and Omar eventually upped his fire and told Savage to hand over everything. At first, Savage didn't want to give it up, but then Omar threatened to shoot Savage and his girlfriend. So Savage started taking his chains off. When Omar reached to grab Savage's chain, Savage saw an opportunity. So he wrapped Omar in his arms, fell to the ground, and they started wrestling. Omar's strap fell out of his hand, and that's when Savage yelled for his girl to come shoot Omar. She came in and popped him twice, but that didn't slow him down because Omar managed to get his hand on a gun and let three shots off at Savage's girl. Thankfully, all the shots missed and Savage got Omar back under control. Savage told Omar to leave since his son was in there, but Omar didn't listen and he told Savage he was gonna kill him and kept fighting. That's when Omar's partners came up and started shooting through the door, but they didn't hit anything. When they stopped shooting, Savage's girl popped back at him with two shots and that's when Omar's partner left him to die. Omar kept fighting, and Savage's girl shot Omar one more time in the torso, and Omar ended up passing away. Savage and his girl got off on self-defense. It was a crazy situation that took over the internet. Savage even went on to do an interview with Vlad TV, and it hit 2 million views in less than a week. But Savage's ops weren't happy about it, since Savage was talking cocky in the interview. Concerned that his people are going to try to come back? Yeah, they for sure might, they might do it, but I'm going to get after it. That's all it is. And then, then, on March 30th, Savage posted pics on Twitter of him standing in a pool of dried blood where Omar had lost his life. Savage was trolling the dude, and the pics instantly went viral, since no one had ever seen anything like that on the net. But two hours after posting those pictures, BTP Savage was in his Mercedes driving around until two gunmen pulled up, boxed him in, and then started letting off shots. And by the time help arrived at the scene, it was already too late. Oh Some people blamed the interview for his tragic death, while others blamed the picture, yeah, since the say, picture was yeah. very disrespectful. Yes. Even though it was self-defense. But Savage isn't the only rapper who got disrespectful in an wow. interview and talked crazy about someone that they killed. Because Gucci Mane did the same in an interview with Charlemagne. In the interview, Gucci showed no remorse to Pookie Lo, whom he took out, but says he does regret a lot of other things that he's done in the streets. Do you regret anything you did in the street? Yeah, I'm ashamed of a lot of things. I'm gonna say, I, yeah, I did some things that, I'm, that I, I wish I didn't do. Yeah. But I was young, I was young. But I, yeah, I did some things that f***ed up, that did wrong, so good. And everybody in the neighborhood know that, so I ain't no going around that. Even, even with the murder, even though it was self-defense, do you ever think about that? Do you think, like, maybe I could handle that different, especially when you did, like, a diss record? He, did, he, he needs to be in the ground. Put his f***ing post up in. Because in 2005, Gucci was beefing with young Jeezy. Jeezy dropped a song where he put a bounty out on Gucci Mane's ice cream cone chain. The person who handed the chain to Jeezy would get paid 10K. So a group of five unknown men showed up at Gucci's house and attacked him, trying to take his chain. He tried to fight him off and got a hold of a gun. He fired off one shot to get them off of him and ended up hitting one of the guys known as Pookie Lope. Three days later, his body was found behind a nearby middle school, and cops were called once it was discovered who was shot. Gucci turned himself in and told officers that he acted in self-defense. Now, let's move on to Lil Dump from the NBA camp, because he had a pretty disturbing moment during an interview with No Jumper, where he kept throwing up due to how many pills he was on. Anything in particular stand out? I feel like Adam... 22 always gets um there's always something going on on his podcast i don't know if it's just me or maybe it's just the clips that i see because i don't actually watch him but the clips i see nowadays or whenever like go viral there's always something going on i don't know i have no idea 
Sorry. How many pills he was on? Anything in particular stand out? And fans in Adam 22 were concerned about Lil Dump's health after seeing this interview, since it clearly seems like he needs some help. Because Lil Dump didn't even want to talk about why he puked on the interview. So what just happened? Hmm. What just happened? For Something deep in life that, you know, I'd rather not talk about it, but I, you, I can talk to you about it personally as a person, you know what I'm saying? But some you know, things deep in life. But I'm just talking about you puking or like the fact that you're kind of drunk, right? No, I ain't drunk. I'm sober. You're sober? No alcohol. That's not what's up in that cup. I just kind of assumed it was alcohol. Oh, okay. So what are you going through right now? There's some, some, some deep things. You trying to get clean? Hmm? You trying to get clean? Get clean. Off of some other? Yeah, type shit at the same time. Not long after this interview, Lil Dump was featured in another YouTube video where he tells a girl he does more drugs than she could ever imagine. Why are you standing like that? <laughs> Stand up, shit. You gotta be louder, like... I do my drugs. Me too. That's not okay. I know. So hopefully, Dump gets the help needed. But now, let's move oh. on to NBA Youngboy. Because he also has a pretty crazy moment during an interview where he gets pissed that the interviewer is asking too many questions. So I'm saying, it seems like Youngboy was also high during this interview, which is why he acted this way. But don't be a problem. I'm driving at the same time. You gotta understand, he was in the entertainment. And the comes to obstruction too. Because. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to entertain you. You know, some can be spoke on. Why? I ain't going to this to be continued. Is in terms of like every time it's finished. And sometimes it's best not to speak on things you did in interviews to gain clout because that's part of the reason rapper G Money lost his life because NBA Youngboy and G Money were close friends. At one point, G Money pulled this move because in the interview with Say Cheese, he says, He met by the sister too, though. About his sister? Yeah, I had f a long time ago. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, he, I mean, I mean... he, was, he wasn't really tripping on it back then, though, you know what I'm saying? He'd be calling me Big Brother. And and after they fell out, they were dissing each other left and right. And the beef and things ended up getting so serious that it led to gun violence. On September 10th, 2017, G-Money was killed after leaving the studio one night. Youngboy spoke on the situation in a song named Poor One, where he says, Matter of fact, I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some foul and had with my sister. Now, let's move on to an interview with 6 9 oh, that's God. disrespectful where and that's six, nine? It's disturbing. Where he disses all of the dead rappers. Don Lacken, Nipsey Don Lacken, Pop Smoke Don Lacken. Right. Can't lack? No, you can't. All right, kill or be killed in these streets. All right. So there's nothing to talk about. So when you say yo happening, you happening. Why you yelling, sir? But the 6 9 interview is nothing compared to Charleston White's interview on DJ UTV, in which he completely went off and poured out a strap on himself for defending FBG Duck's mother and King Von's family. Charleston White tells DJ U that he doesn't care about King Von since Von was a killer. And that's when DJ U tells him not to say that about them. The knowledge I got, King Von was a killer. My mama had two songs locked up for murder, and my mama let everybody know I'm not in agreement in what my son so this is what I'm saying. You can't make me curl by King Von Mama. I don't give a Charleston then goes on to get even madder since he helped FBG Duck's mother and felt like he had the right to talk about her. But DJ U told him to chill. That's when Charleston White completely flashes out and pulls out his strap on DJ U. And I killed him. He said, I helped So somebody else helped him. And I ain't down. He could have the So y'all gonna help him. Since y'all got so much to say. Give me back the money then. I ain't have to help now more you. My mama ain't got a bunch of kids that die. Keep a mother f***ing gun, Chicago! Say how 
Johnson didn't end up smoking someone during this interview because things were pretty heated. What but if you thought that was crazy, you gotta click this video on the screen. It's even better, trust me. Not when people are pulling out guns on, guns. People are pulling guns out when they're being interviewed. Imagine interview, like, yeah, I don't know. Let me know, let me know in the comments what you think about this video. There's a lot of moments in this video where I was like, what on earth is going on? Like, what is going on? Let me know which one, which clip in this video you was just like, thinking what is going on but if there's anything else from this channel you'd like me to react to then let me know in the comments because i do actually react to a lot of videos from this channel and yes let me know in the comments as well or you can follow me on instagram all of that good stuff but anyways guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video very very soon bye